video starts, hey, first off, thanks for uh, watching, and second, smash that like button. Appreciate it greatly if you do. Um, this is a topic that's super passionate to me, right? Because I am a baseball slash softball player that has changed and transitioned into golf, and I want to try to help as many people as I can. So here you go. Top of the swing, right? Look at our hands are high, just like they are in baseball. So this is super comfortable. What else is comfortable is taking your hands from this point and throwing them down the arrow, right? Throwing them around your body. Like basically you're going to hit the ball to third base, right? So what you'll see here, so we'll go to the next part here. So my feeling is always trying to have that back shoulder kind of fall down. Um, that's what the downward green arrow means is if the shoulder comes down like you're hitting up on the ball you're actually going to be on a better swing plane than if you go on the red arrow where you're throwing it around you so think down the green arrow so hit up on the ball they always say if you are really actually hitting up on the ball it's very hard to slice the ball so um i know it's not natural it's going to feel weird but you just got to try it so think about throwing it your back shoulder going down and swinging up on the ball So you see it here, see how my back shoulder is down and my front shoulder, more importantly, is still basically together down the line, if that makes sense. So think of it more like as a baseball player, if you're doing this, hitting the ball oppo. So look, I'm hitting the ball oppo, hitting the ball right to make it go left, which is totally backwards and that's what makes golf so frustrating. So literally, it's like I'm trying to hit the ball with my back shoulder. That's my swing feel. My swing feel is hit the ball with my back shoulder. So what you see here is if this back shoulder turns around like more vertically, so if your shoulder, like that back shoulder right here is dipped, but if it wasn't and it was more vertical where you hear people saying you're too upright and it was working around my body, it would make that club go from right to left, which right to left going swinging too far left makes the ball go right again this it's golf so now you're going to see a swing uh, the next swing a little bit later on in the, in the rate session and this one definitely demonstrates swinging inside out so if you see here shoulder will be uh, circle it shoulder is still down the line of where my feet are right it hasn't thrown open so for slicing, that's the number one thing. The front shoulder goes way too soon. Like it starts, it goes left, it opens way up and works around, and that makes the club go out to in. And it's it's a huge thing that I'm always having to pay attention to because it feels so natural. Um, and for most of us, it does. It doesn't feel natural to swing. Like like I said, just think about going oppo, swinging to um, the right. So in this picture, you see it right here. My swing plane is working from inside to out. And my whole thought is swing up on the ball and hit it with my back shoulder. That's what works for me. My swing feel is off my back shoulder. Some people might be with their front shoulder. So I put this other arrow because if my back shoulder, if I was vertical and working my back shoulder around me hard, it would change that swing plane to be from out to in. Um, so that's my whole swing thought. My swing thought, if you take anything from this video that might help you, is trying to hit the ball with my back shoulder. Like, drop the shoulder and hit down. So that's what you see, swinging up, right? See everything working to the right to make the ball go left. If I threw everything to the left, hips, everything went around me too hard, you would see the club get thrown over the top of me, which would make the ball go right. And I know, this is like... What? Like, but it, it makes sense. Once you try it, swing up on the ball and try to hit it with your back shoulder. Think about those two things that might help you. It it was, if you see here, I guess this last thing I'm trying to show you is spine angle, right? I'm actually, the back shoulder is pointed at the ball when my arms extend out in front of me. That's, again, what will cause the ball to go right to left. If my shoulders were on that plane there that you see the red arrow on you would see the club be going over the top of me and it would work it right to left it's it's that easy right it's golf it's that easy thank you to everybody that watched this video 
please smash that like button. And also, if you're a good golfer and you watch this and you're like, hey, man, I, I do this, please put in the comments, share. Uh, it's all community on Par Life. Anything that you've done to make you better, put it on the comments. I'll try it, and hopefully the people that are watching this video will try it as well. Have a Par Life.